Hey, Scott Tranner here, host of CNY Flavor. We got a great show in store for you. A nice little segment here. Uh, Easter's coming up. We have Carrie Kane from Signature Events. That's right, the infamous Carrie Kane. <laughs> And uh, she's got some great tips. You know, Easter is probably one of the biggest holidays in Christendom. Uh, we have the Easter egg hunts. Those of you that have children know how special that is. And Carrie has some nice tips and little hints that she's going to show you on how to make your Easter memorable. Hey, welcome to CNY Flavor, where we help teach you how to cook on a shoestring budget. We got a great show in store for you. What we do is we do some, you know, a couple recipes. We do some cooking and, and help you learn how to cook and combine things on a shoestring budget at home in today's economic times. At the end of the show, what we do is we interview local restaurants, owners, chefs, uh, different things that are unique to Central New York. So stay tuned. We got a great show in store for you. I am really excited about this segment because, you know, Carrie's been doing this for a long time. Uh, you know, I have five children, uh, four grandchildren, another one on the way, another grandchild, and, and I have done a lot of Easter's, but I have never heard this tip. And when she told me this, I just thought, that is so cool. <laughs> so Carrie, thanks for coming into the show here. My pleasure. Tell me, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I have a quick and easy tip for you. Okay. Especially for a family like yours where you have lots of little kids. So it may be varying age ranges, right. right? The easiest thing to do is you're gonna wanna piece your eggs out by color. So all the boys get masculine colors. All the girls would get these pretty fluorescent feminine colors. Okay, nice and easy, pink, yellow, and purple. What you're first gonna wanna do is whomever has the pink eggs is gonna get a pink bag. So okay. the child, no matter what age, will never have to remember what egg they're looking for and they can't take anybody else's eggs and they can't complain that anybody else got their eggs because they're getting what they need. Pink. Okay, so like I got, you know, a couple daughters, a few sons. I mm -hmm. gave this to my youngest daughter. Mm -hmm. Then I would take the pink eggs and she would know to just take the pink eggs and the Easter egg. Hunt. Exactly. So you okay. would hang a little name tag on here that said Madeline. Right. Okay, you hang a little name tag that says Madeline. Madeline gets pink, so she's only going to get pink. Okay. Then you're going to go over to Erica, who has purple. So Erica's only going to get the purple eggs. Not only are you alleviating any fighting, nobody's arguing over who got more eggs or you took mine or I want what's in that one, you're gonna completely avoid that. Not only that, you can now age appropriately stuff your eggs. So if Erica is 10, well she can get a 10 year old appropriate egg and the little one's not gonna open nail polish which she can't use. Right, Right. Okay. So it, may, it really saves a lot of time, it's easier and it will alleviate all the fighting you get out on the lawn. And you do get a lot of fighting, <laughs> okay? When fighting. one when one's really quick and they run around like yes. a madman grabbing them, mm -hmm. and then one's a little slower and they don't get as many, and then they start building resentments and crying. And exactly. You can also okay. now be a little trickier with your older boys. Okay. So I have an eight-year-old son. His are going to get a little harder this year, okay. right? But I don't have to worry about leaving them all down at ground level so that everybody gets a chance because we're going on color-coded eggs. Okay, great. Well, that's just a great idea. What, what's the multicolored one? If you have a smaller family and you only have two girls in the family, you don't need to necessarily have everybody have only one color. They could have multiple colors. So instead of giving Erica just the purple bag, you could then assign her pink and yellow or pink and green eggs as this bag coordinates, and she would now get pink and green eggs still coordinating to her bag. This is a simple tote that came from Target, actually, in their decorator aisle. And it's big enough to put everybody's eggs in. Nobody's going to worry about carrying them. Nobody's going to get upset because they dropped them. It's painless. You give them their bag, it coordinates with their egg colors, and off they go. They come back with everything handy, handy in one little sack. Also, for two-year-old, four-year-old, seven-year-old, it doesn't matter. Everybody can handle this bag. Right. That is just such a great concept. And it matches beautifully. And you know, you can, uh, if you go into the party aisle, the birthday aisle specifically, you could get red and blue and orange. You can get any variation of color. If somebody's favorite colors are purple and green rather than pink and purple, you find a purple and green bag. And the eggs you just get at any Joanne's, thrift store, Joanne's, Michael's, Michael's, anywhere, okay. Target, anywhere, anywhere that sells Easter candy, it's going to have Easter eggs. Wow. 
You know what? That, that's I'm telling you, just that alone will save you guys that are watching this on a Easter. A lot of time. A lot of time, a lot, a lot of heartache. heartache. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the children. Yes. We know that they don't necessarily understand. And when they're happier, they enjoy it. Yes. It also makes a beautiful pictures to see your little princess walking around the backyard with her Sunday best on and this gorgeous little bag in her hand, you know, is better than somebody fumbling with eggs. It just makes it makes everything easier. And the and the Easter bunny can take those older kid ones and actually hide them a little better. Mm -hmm. Okay, and make it a little... The Easter Bunny can have a lot of fun with that. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Carrie. That's <laughs> you're a welcome. great tip. Now, we're, we're doing this here, and, and then you're going to show me how to do a basket too, right? I am. Okay. An easy way to make an ordinary basket look extraordinary with the same things that you would purchase in Target or Joann's or wherever you would buy anything to stuff your Easter basket for your favorite little one. Right. It's the same things you would buy. It's just a few different ways to make it look a little bit over the top. Cool. Let's do that. All, All right. right. All right. Hey, welcome to Crazy Auto's Empire Diner. That's 100 West Albany Street right here in downtown Herkimer. You may remember me or notice me as the host at CNY Flavor. You can come on that website at cnyflavor.com and learn all about the cooking show that airs on Tuesdays, every Tuesday. But we're talking about Crazy Auto's Empire Diner right now. You know, a lot of times you see TV shows, you wonder if the cook, the chef is there, if he really actually cooks or he actually is in a restaurant. Well, I'm one of the guys that have been there, done that, and is still doing it. Right here, you can come in, you can see me cook. I'm here virtually every day. Here at Crazy Autos, they don't call us crazy for nothing. Uh, everything here is fresh and homemade. As you can see, we fresh slice our tomato. Everything's done fresh to order. Uh, doing actually a BLT right now. This is Michael, uh, also happens to be my son. Hey, all right. Hey, welcome to Crazy Autos. Come on in, give us a try. You won't be disappointed. Okay, here we are. We're going to do Easter Basket 101 with Kerry Kane, okay, the extraordinaire here, <laughs> okay, who is pretty knowledgeable in this stuff. I'm telling you, sign signature events here, and uh, you, can, you have a website too, right? I do. What's your website? www.signatureeventsbykerry, that's K-E-R-I dot com. Okay, now, if they can't do this themselves and they want someone to do this for a party or set the table or whatever, who do they call? Me. And what's your phone number? 315-254-5740. Okay, it's a couple days before the event and I messed everything up and my wife had me handle the plans and I forgot. Okay. Who do I call? You call myself or okay. Christina. Okay, Christina. Either one of us. We can pick up from where you are at the point. Okay. We can fix what didn't go right or we can start from <laughs> scratch. Okay, see that's the importance of, of the signature events is that they can handle just about anything that you can throw at them. Mm -hmm. They don't like to do things at the last minute. <laughs> Nobody does, okay? So That's can. the truth, but they can. And so um, listen to her because she, she's free with her knowledge, and, and that's one of the things at CNY Flavor is we try to help people learn how to do things on a shoestring budget mm -hmm. and, and, you know, in today's economic times, and, and you're very free with your knowledge and trying I to help am. people. And, Definitely. And that's one thing about our show is it's people helping people, and we appreciate you being on. Well, and so tell me what you're going to do on a shoestring budget here, how you're going to create a masterpiece. You and I are going to build an Easter basket. Okay. Okay, so you go to the store every week and you see things every once in a while. You think, well, that'd be a great Easter basket, and you set it aside. What do you do when it's time to fill that Easter basket? And you have all these great things that you've picked up from places like the Village Toy Shop in New Hartford or Target, or you've ordered online from the Great Kite Store. What are you going to do with them? It's really not a da as daunting a task as it seems. The first thing you want to do is find an awesome basket. You can find a bright basket, you can find a dull basket, you can find you, your child's favorite basket. This particular basket we are building is for my niece Molly, who will be six in July. Her okay. favorite color is hot pink. Okay. As long as it's hot pink, it doesn't matter what it is. So we started with this simple craft basket. I'm also going to add to it, just to hold everything in place and give it a little pizzazz, some pink Easter grass, and you'll see it's pretty close to hot pink. We're gonna put it in there. Okay. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's one thing that I always want everyone to remember. Not only should they always call me if they have questions, I'm happy to give tips. Like you said, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to pick up or just, you know, push them in the, a little bit in a different direction, maybe spark some creativity. Everything you do from an Easter basket to a table setting to a backyard barbecue needs to have your own flair. Okay. It needs to have your style. My niece will know that this came from me. Perfect Game Imaging strives to deliver sport action photography 
that renders images that without us, our clients and customers would normally not even see. I can't tell you how many viewers of our images have asked, how did you get that shot? Or, I didn't even see that happen during the game. It is our mission to have our action shots hanging on the walls of the athletes' families' homes and offices as centerpieces to be cherished for a lifetime. Um, after you put the grass in, and you'll see the grass really, it looks like it's taking up the whole basket here. It's really not. It's nothing but shredded plastic grass, so it will really smush down after you get everything in. Okay. And it's a great filler because you want to make sure that you can see everything in your basket, but you don't want it be, to be too smushed together, and you don't want it to be too far apart because the basket will look sparse. So this grass is maybe 99 cents anywhere, okay. Target, Joanne, anywhere that you would buy the eggs. Um, and it's just a great filler. So start with that always. Like I said, pick a basket that you love. And what I always put first is jelly beans because there's no Easter without jelly beans, right? That's correct. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the scissors and the jelly beans. Okay. Those are my favorite starbursts. You throw them right in here on the bottom. Doesn't matter, haphazard, anywhere you want. And you can use anything. You can use multiple different kinds. You could put M&Ms oh. if, if you, <laughs> you like the sweet tart. Yeah, I saw the sweet tart uh, jelly beans there. There you Now see, it's already starting to sink a little bit once yep. you add things. What I like to do, just to make it a little fun, is pull the grass back up just a little bit. So you still get the color of the jelly beans, but now there's something underneath. Do you want this one open too? Sure, go ahead. There's a little something underneath there as a surprise too. What's at the bottom of the Easter basket? Perfect. Perfect. Wow, that's a, that's a nice basket. And already there. it's just adding another layer of color is all. Yep. Next, after you add your jelly beans, is you're going to want to start with the biggest things because whenever you're building a basket, a Christmas basket, a get well basket, Easter basket, whatever you're doing, a box, a basket, a tin of cookies, you always want to put the biggest things in the back and okay. you build around that because that's the hardest, most difficult thing to get secure usually. Okay. And then you can just stick and tuck things in where they fit. Now I'm going to try, for the benefit of our audience, to build this backward. I may have to turn it around and do okay. a frontward, but we'll see. Essentially what you want to do is just play. It's, it's all a matter of practice, Cre really. Creativity. It really is. It's practice and creativity. Okay. So if you think that you want this to be in the front, this, this particular kite, my Molly loves turtles. So if this particular kite is what you want to be first and foremost, you would put it in the front like this. I prefer not to do it that way because it's taking up the whole basket. So I'm going to stick it in the back and I'm just going to move the grass a little bit. Again, don't be afraid. It's all stuff that you can start over if you need to. It's not anything breakable. You know, it's you can work around it. And sometimes the things that you might think at first are mistakes are things that you wouldn't think to do is what you're most excited about in the finished product. Okay. So now we would pick something else that's big. Um, you know, we might want to put this glow wand in here. Also kind of big and unsturdy, not really standing on its own stick that in there. Now you can see this is sort of falling over, sort of flimsy. You can do multiple things here. You can use regular old scotch tape to just adhere this to the basket handle, okay. or you can put something behind this, like maybe the slinky. And we're gonna tuck the slinky in, as you can see right here, down at the bottom. So there's another little surprise in the back, but now the kite is not going anywhere. Okay. Okay? And now you continue to build around. So grab anything. This little car bingo I bought at the Village Toy Shop is the cutest little thing and she will love it. And this is the other thing you need to remember too. It doesn't matter what you put in it. It's the time and the effort that you took to put in it that they're gonna remember. And if you're on a shoestring budget, buy things that are unique. This was very inexpensive from the toy store and it's um, auto bingo. So every time they go on a road trip, she can use this in the back seat and interact with her mom and dad. And if she sees a 55 mile an hour street sign, she's just gonna move it over just move like a regular bingo card. But not, a, you know, everybody's not going to have these. This is not a store body Easter basket, and that's what I was going for. So you can add the auto bingo right now, or you can put it in later. Uh, you can add the Twizzler chapstick, whatever you like. Me? Huh? Go for it. All right. I'll put this one down on the side here. Okay. And we'll take this as a sticker fun. Yes, ballet stickers, hmm. what every you little girl likes. You don't want to cover that up. Mm -hmm. So herein lies the problem. Yeah. <laughs> so if you put this in right here, something else isn't going to work. So we'll start over. Take it out. Keeping the biggest thing in the back. There you Putting go. Putting this here. Right. Now maybe you want to put the slinky back into holes. And it's really just Hold a matter up, of, right. you know, playing. Tuck things in. Put things at an angle. Okay. Let something stick out behind something else. It, it's not ever going to be wrong. There's no so right or wrong way to do it. There. 
plastic on the wand. Okay. Okay. What if you got extra? You don't have extra, You don't right? have extra. If you do have extra, you can always wrap things individually. You can always wrap this little princess puzzle in really fun Easter egg paper or a coordinating paper, um, you know, maybe an opposite. If her other favorite color is lime green, you could wrap it in lime green and then set it beside the Easter basket. Or you can hide this uh, with a riddle and okay. send her on a little on um, a goose chase. And send her on a goose chase. I like so that. So look for it. Why not? And then this thing here we can fold around. Mm -hmm. This is a SpongeBob. Her favorite. So then you How'd can you do? actually see everything. <laughs> here, let me look in the front. Okay. I'm going to walk around the front there. I think it looks good. You're happy with it? Other than I this here, okay. I would take this and spin so this around so yeah. she can see it. Is this who you'd call if you need a mechanic? Is this who you'd call if you need a babysitter? No Sheep Designs is the right call for your business when you need professional, affordable web development, photography, or video production. With a decade of experience, we have the knowledge and passion to bring your project to life for much less than you'd expect. Visit NoSheepDesigns.com today to see how we can help you. Now, so do you wrap it too? We can wrap it. I wrap mine in my house. Let's wrap it. All right. Okay. The, and this is, again, simple. So this is a clear roll of cellophane that I found at Hobby Lobby. Okay. You cut it open. The difference between this and wrapping paper, and this is important, if you're going to wrap a basket like this that you want to see through, you don't want to use wrapping paper because it's not forgiving. Wrapping paper is rigid. This is cellophane, uh, cellophane rather, just like saran wrap. Right. Okay. So it's clear so you can see all the goodies and the yep. fantastic things inside this Easter basket. It's very, very simple. If you can lift this basket for me, I will show you how to do it. Okay. Lay this roll of cellophane out and you'll see I have everything ready here and that's another little quick tip. Have everything you need ready when you're getting ready to do this, when you're prepared to do the basket. So set it in what you think looks like the middle. See, in, it cooking, in cooking at CNY, what do we say? Mise en place, mise en place, right? You exactly. get everything ready as you're cooking to put all your ingredients together. And that's what right. you're doing. It makes thing. it faster, easier, yeah. less frustrating, and you're going to enjoy what you're doing if you're ready to do it. So and if you don't know French out there, that's all it means is staging everything correctly. Mise en place. Okay. Okay, so now what you're going to do is just estimate. <laughs> We're a little short. We're a little short. <laughs> okay. We have this gigantic ladybug kite to accommodate. So you simply just roll out a little more. Now we should have it on this and side. And if you can bring it together as a pyramid, perfect. Okay. Now what you want to do is very simply roll up the other side and cut. Don't let me cut your fingers. I will not. Oop. Again, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be perfect. We'll fix it later. We ah. can tie that up later. Okay. In this particular instance, you could now... You're going to use something to tie it. You can use anything you want. One thing you want to keep in mind is if this is the back of your basket, yep. you're going to want to try to wrap any pieces that are going to, exactly, that are going to have to be pieced together in the back so you don't see the tape. Okay. So if you can turn this basket around just a second, just so we can show this, okay. this is a corner, so it's wide open. What you simply want to do is pull the bottom in of this pyramid here, Yep. pull the bottom in. Make it nice and tight so you have any wrinkles in your paper. And then you're just going to want to fold in, fold in very gently. You don't want it to look wadded or, or pushed together like a big ball in the back. You're just going to pull it together nice and tight like that. And you take regular, nothing fancy, regular scotch tape. And you tape the extra saran wrap. Saran, um, it's not saran wrap, that's right. what you use. Yeah. <laughs> basket wrap to the rest of the basket. Now it's going to form a nice tight tower. Well, we'll go back to the color scheme again, hot pink. Okay. So I found this hot pink ribbon that has little silver sparkles bringing in the silver and it's a stick and tie ribbon. One thing I like to do with these ribbons is because there's generally more than three or four individual pieces that make up this curly ribbon. I like to take one out, just take one piece out and the, the staples are usually loose enough that you can do this. And this is the easiest way to tie your basket together. Use this coordinating ribbon. 
and just go right around the top and tie your basket together. Okay. Try to center it in your basket. Okay, right in the front there. Yeah. And just do a little tie, but it's going to pull your selfie nice and tight. It's going to make everything that's standing up nice and secure so you don't have to worry about it. If you're traveling to get to wherever you're going with your Easter basket, you don't have to worry about anything falling over. And I don't suggest putting them on a car seat. I've made that mistake. I always put them on the floor. And then you're going to come back in with the rest of the bow that you just pulled this string from and right. add it right to this stringed area so that you cannot tell the difference between where the bow started. Right? Well, that's fantastic. One more thing. Okay. You have this beautiful basket and you want to make sure that whomever this is for has no problem realizing it's for them. So like I said before, we're building this for my niece, Molly. So I took in her favorite colors, hot pink, purple, orange, yellow, and green, uh, scrapbook paper. I'm a big fan of scrapbook paper. You can do anything with it, anything. I simply found an M uh, in Word on okay. my computer. I blew it up to the size I wanted. I traced it onto the scrapbook paper. I put it on a circle that I inverted one of my vases, circled the vase, and voila, you have a fancy tag. And then just a hole punch. And I, <laughs> I <laughs> adhered the two of them together with a scrapbook. Okay. This is a scrapbook glue stick. It's basically what it is. It's, it's just like tape. It's just thin, clear tape. It's easier to work with than scotch tape, but you don't need to have this. You could use scotch tape. Okay. Just fine. Go, but going back to the ribbon, real simple. Take one of these pieces of ribbon that are in this fantastic bow that you just put on here, gently so that we don't break any loops which this one seems to be connected, so we'll go a different way. Okay, you don't wanna, you don't wanna mess up this gorgeous basket. So all you're gonna do is find two pieces that are easy to pull through. I have punched a hole in this M. Take one of these little curly ribbons and feed it through this M. And now you have a personalized, gorgeous name tag that you can even write a note on here that says, to Molly Love Kiki, and she would know it came from me. And you're simply going to tie it on. And you don't have to do anything fancy with this ribbon because it's pretty fancy already. So just double knot it so we don't lose it. There you go. Pull it up nice and tight. And you have Look at that. an Easter basket. Terry Kane, signature <laughs> event. You have a website. You have her phone number. Mm -hmm. CNY Flavor, we appreciate you tuning in. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you again Till for having time, us. Till next time, okay? Till next time. Thank next you again time. for having All us. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have a great recipe for you today. Uh, we're going to do, it's an apple pea salad. It's quick, economical. Uh, these are things that you can see on our website too if you go to cnyflavor.com You know you have quick tips you have recipe sections and so all the things that you actually see me do uh, On the set here you can do at home too because we provide the recipe so just go on the website and also I wanted to uh, Emphasize to go on Facebook and like us okay because that's important when people go on Facebook and they see how many likes you have I know that everybody's talking about the show it's a hit show and uh, I'm getting comments all the time no matter where I go uh, but it's important too that you go on Facebook with social media today. People look at that stuff. So if you can go on Facebook and just like us, I'd appreciate that. Go on cnyflavor.com and you can get the quick tips, you can get the recipes, all the different little sections about advertising, everything right on the website. So this is the apple pea salad. Uh, I use Macintosh apples. I'm just going to cut these right in half on the apple because we are going to chop them. See, and this is just an easier way for me to peel them. Macintosh have a nice, distinct flavor. And then I'm going to take my little paring knife here and pare out the core. Okay, put that off to the side. Now this is a healthy salad too because what you do is you got walnuts that we're going to cut down. I'm using half a cup of walnuts. Uh, you got mayonnaise, milk. Peas, one can of peas, gluten free, and you're not um, going to get sick. Now, make sure you don't have a, a walnut allergy though if you're eating this because these are walnuts. And just put this off to the side. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to take this and I'm just going to dice these really small small little bite size okay they don't have to be exact because we're not cooking it if you have anything that you would like to 
see on the show again I'd like to tell you to go on the website because you can make suggestions if there's something unique and, and, and special to you in upstate New York here that's thus the theme central New York flavors um, that you'd like to see or have someone interviewed uh, that's special and unique to us up in this country we just take our apples here they're done now sometimes they're hard getting them up off the the table so I keep a little spatula here sometime where I can just scoop them right up so your celery you're just going to take and you're just going to slice this down okay and I like doing this fine and if you notice as my hand is traveling down they're all coming out pretty uniform okay bite size so you're putting this in layers right in the bowl here I'm going to take this a little trusty spatula here we're putting it in the layers here we're going to take our walnuts same thing you just want to chop them up a little bit you can get the fresh ones in the shell and de-shell them yourself or you can buy them in packages it's up to you you can even buy the dry roasted ones unsalted or salted depending upon what you prefer. So you're going to throw this right in. Okay, so we have it all layered right here. And you got your walnuts, your celery, your apples right in there. You're going to take your can of peas and you're going to drain it. It's important that you drain the liquid out of it. Don't just pour the can in there. Okay. Let's just take it, put them right inside. You got your mayonnaise here, half a cup of mayonnaise, you're going to just put that right inside of it. And two tablespoons of milk, pour it right in with it. Okay? And then you're just going to gently mix it together. Remember you're not crushing it, you're just, you don't want to crush the peas. And you're going to mix this together so that it all folds into it really nice. And this here, this will feed, you know, anywhere from four to six people, depending upon how much you put on the plate. You know, and you're, you're just going to scoop it right out. Get your peas in there. Nice little side salad here. And there it is, all mixed in. Color, I appeal. Looks good. Tastes good. Very healthy for you. Hope you love it.